commanders. Now, I'm wondering if you can feel it. Can you can you feel through the internet? Yes, it is excitement from from throat sore this evening. Hello, hello, commanders. Thank you for for joining me. This is the package I got today from TT Combat. They've relaunched um, Hawk War Games Drop Zone Commander, and uh, this is the package I got on the opening weekend. So there's a couple of uh, little bits and bobs in there. I've waited a little while to get it, and and I guess you're going to on a relaunch. You're going to wait a, wait a while. I've sent some emails and they're very good at keeping in contact with me and and um, letting me know uh, when things are arriving and stuff like that. So I'm going to um, I'm going to open this. Now I ordered a few little bits. I ordered some uh, some drop pods and a, a couple of models. This is quite a big package for that though. So I don't know. I don't know what's what's in here. So I'm going to I'm going to employ the uh, knife of ultimate penetration here. Uh, now to open open this mighty package uh, I will use Caliburn uh, to do my bidding once more let's hope I can do that safely and there we go away from the body yeah? look at that check me with my health and safety he says before he cuts off his own finger so let's have a look what's in here More knife action. Here we are. Same right there. Caliburn strikes true once more. And back into the stone goes the sword. There we are. Oh, that bit of uh, bit of tape. I should um, I should place that carefully for proper safe disposal. Excellent. Very good. Now, what do we have in here? Oh, so a bit of tape there. Right, we have Ooh. we have a lot of this. And I don't know what I don't know what that is. Is that is that a futuristic building? Is this a birthing pod for I don't know, maybe a scourge or Sheltari um elite unit? Maybe. I'll I'll look at that later. There are several of them, so maybe they're very maybe they're ubiquitous. Maybe they're not an elite. Thing. Maybe they're just for the normal troops to grow in. Ah, here we are. Here's something perhaps more interesting. Look. Ah, it's my battle cruiser. This is a post human republic battle cruiser um, pack for a drop fleet commander. So I've got a fleet of this. I've made it up. I've played like an intro game and I played an intro game at Expo in Birmingham last year, which is really good. Um, I've not really played properly yet. So a friend of mine, Dan Lum, um, Vam Vampius, um, he does. Uh, online uh, YouTube videos of Drop Fleet and Drop Zone, so do go and watch him. I'll put a link to his um, videos in the description as well. He's he's really funny. He's a really nice guy to play against as well. Go up to Stockport and play play with him, and he's um, uh, a fine general. Um, I think he kicked my ass last time. I I think we managed to draw, but kicked my ass last time we played Drop Zone. Um, my mates enjoy playing him as well, and, and they're they're a really good bunch up there. So there we go. That's my. That's my battle cruiser, and I think actually that pack um, allows you to have two battle cruisers uh, f from it. So it's, it's one battle cruiser, but you've got two options of of different different types that you can have. So the next we've got, we've got um, da overseer. Now um, another um, excellent YouTuber, Pezapu, essentially told me to ditch the despoiler for your scourge force, go for an overseer. Um, it's it's a lot better. So on on his recommendation, I've gone ahead and got one of those. So that's really good. So I'm expecting that too. Oh, look at this! What's this? What's this? this? Oh, look, some sort of defensive building work, perhaps. I don't know. Um, I I oh, look at that. Oh, that's very very strong, very strong. And we've got this. Oh, we may need we may need to draw the sword from the stone one more time. Let's have a look. Yes, we do. We do. I pop a paper. That's also very, well, it's tactically important because it, it, it keeps you not. Oh, I'm, oh the manager. We do, we do not need this. I do not use the sword if this is not necessary. It's a good. It's a good lesson in war, commanders. A good lesson in war. Wow. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> the problem is, I can't remember half the stuff I ordered. Ah, I think this is a Shackleton. I think this is a um, a drop pod. It is. Oh, wicked. I I um 
We ordered two of these and they don't they don't actually play much role in the game as such, but they're just an amazing miniature for putting down as an objective. So we'll have people fighting over them and trying to steal them and take them off off the table and stuff. You might be rules for them one day. Maybe you can deploy things from them as well. That'd be pretty good. Pop the paper. Very important um, when you're painting small models and you need to keep unstressed. You know when they fall fall apart, you're not washing them properly, <laughs> you put a super glue and they fall apart after you put them together. Well, quickly do a bit of that. Yeah, or when, when you when you paint when you, you put a bit of paint in the wrong place and and uh, it's all going wrong, do a bit of that. You'll feel much better about it. That's very important. So that's not getting thrown anywhere. That's getting folded up, and that's going to be neatly kept. And I'm going to put that. I'm going to shall I put that in? I'm going to put that in the cave of mystery. Here we are, the cave of mystery. I'm just going to keep the little light in there. Company for the moment. Okay, let's see what else we've got. What's that? Oh, uh, this is another Shackleton. Make sure it's the right thing. It doesn't, it doesn't, I literally haven't opened this before. This is as I open it. There we are. Yes, that's another Shackleton. So very excited. I ordered, did order two of those. That's great. Ooh. This. Oh, hello. What's this? Did I order? I don't think I ordered this. Uh, I did. I did order this. This is. No, I. I yes, I did order this. I I really like the um, I love the game. Um, I'm a big proponent. Um, I, you know, if there's a campaign out there for it, or, or if people are listening, and people do listen. There's um, um, I think the person's called Emily on one of the on the Facebook forums. It's really good. Very uh, you know, listens feeds feeds back a lot when you when you give views on on the game and and, and uh, you know uh, ideas for second edition and stuff like that. But and I. I I love having um, everything in one book. So this is first edition, admittedly. Hey, we, we, we're coming up with the second edition soon, but I don't care. I still want everything in one place. But also, um, I believe this has got lots of artwork in. I think the gent's name is Patrice, the artist. As I say, that I, I had a, I've had a chat with at a couple of the um, conventions that I've been to. Um, and as I say, he did this really nice piece of art there. And that, that really impressed me. And I wanted to have, get this book because of that. Um, ever since I first saw the piece of artwork. Um, so yeah, so this is a reimagining of the first book, essentially. It's got um, all the first armies. It doesn't include, to my knowledge, phase uh, one or, or two. So if you want a complete book, and this is what I'm really hoping for, um, the new edition is that we get one book with everything in, uh, as I say. Um, so this is the uh, basic rules. Um, nice clean print as well. I as I might have mentioned before in other videos, don't see as well as, as many. So actually having nice clear print in a font with with a, a non-white background, like slightly cream is actually good for me and, and many, many other people that I, I, I know will actually find this quite easy to read. The artwork is 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 beautiful. It's, um, there we go, look at that. There, lovely. Um, hopefully I'm not giving anything away. Obviously it's much better if you buy this book and uh, that, that looks really really stunning don't worry i'm not going to go through it page by page i'm just going to show you a few little bits there look look representations of of models which have been um I, I don't know what the word is they've been accentuated that's a nice word isn't it accentuated i'm going to make that my favorite word of the day uh, so they've taken the model there and they've done cool artistic computery bits to it to make the actual models look great as well um and just say all the rules there quite clear. So there are there are there are new rules as well. And say I've got this as a collector's piece. So from the back there, we've also got some guest painters that have done some cool dioramas, etc. Um, there we've also got little additions. So we've got the the basic troop types there. Let me just look at what these are. are they first bonds. They are first bonds. Um, so that's what you got in the old one. But now you've got these cool. Um, depictions of the firstborns and also you've got depictions of the weapons there which i think is very cool i like that a lot is that the power blade there perhaps which is which is ace and as i say a really nice piece of kind of full page full color art there um and i i like that i like i like the extra stuff it reminds me of other games that i got growing up so yeah um uh, 
this the picture I want to show you though is <laughs> I like the way they've added things to the infantry and the scourge have got razor worms and then these amazing little kind of wormy things on on bases they're very big obviously because they're 10 mil but look it gives you a comparison of how big <laughs> the razor worm is look at that compared to a human that's brilliant so you can just see how useless it is fighting one in close combat i can imagine that coming towards me look at him he's he's horrific isn't he <laughs> next time i play i'm definitely using those and i'm going to show my opponent that picture when they complain about how hard they are in close combat so there you go so yeah overall uh yeah really nice book so um and so i'll just give you a last look at there you go uh some of the so i'll just give you a last look at some of the um there you go some of the models and how they've changed them and made them look really cool so there you go so that's a collector's piece that's going to go back in its box you have to get out and look show it to people and, and look at it but that's going back in it says in the front there's the uh, 1500 of these made so they may become a collector's item i'm not really a, i'm not really a trader or anything like that myself though but that'll go on a shelf and i will get out and look at it occasionally and it's got very importantly it's got new box smell commanders do you know new box smell tell me tell me in the comments if you know what new box smell is so let's have a look at the models what we have here we've got the overseer quite a complicated model overall but uh, well well worth it the spoiler was actually quite complicated with all its tarantula like legs and there's no one i play that wouldn't let me proxy uh, a desolator for this but uh, is it a desolator or a spoiler you, you you'll, you'll you'll know what it is but you you know what i mean that they, they, they wouldn't mind me um, swapping in a uh, a different model but i do like to have i do like to have the real ones so let's just have a feel and now i don't know much about resin i'm not an expert on casting or anything but on touch that feels now this could actually be an older model i don't know this could just be a restock model though these were really rare in the shops i couldn't find one anywhere just gonna have a quick look. Just this Hawk War Games product doesn't mention TT Combat, so this could be an old run, you see. So we could be learning very little here. There's the the flying base. So I just something I always do is just stick that all together, and then I don't lose little bits. You see, <laughs> so that goes there. Okay, so what I got, I think I've got all the parts for a spoiler. Look at that. Those are the evil tarantula-like legs. And here we have. Oh, yeah. Here, here we've right yeah they're the legs and then we've definitely got the bits for the despoiler as well uh sorry the overseer sorry what bits there but that's that's new that's new i've not seen that kind of flashing before no no i haven't so that could be this this could be new resin indeed let's have a quick look with the magnifying glass is it a slightly different colour? What do you th what do you think, Commanders? You say you'll see better than me. I don't know. Hmm. No taste test. Uh, it feels pretty. It feels a little bit more smooth. I'd say is the word smooth. So that might make the detail better. It might make it harder to paint i don't know no i can't really tell at the moment okay so this is as i say these are parts that go in there i'm guessing like so and they form part the underside of the overseer and as uh <laughs> who likes to say it's the prolapse so there you go that's uh that's what it's called by those people in the know who are scourge experts so there we go so um we've, we've got the bits done I, I will show people what these look like when they're made up as well so put those back there so really really helpful though if i wanted to magnetize and turn this into both that's really good i mean i've got a display model already so that's okay isn't it but if i wanted if I, if I was a clever gamer like many of you out there are you've got all the bits here for both hq choices which i think is really good isn't it so you could just magnetize those and pop them on if you wanted for a despoiler if you wanted like your hand grenade because that's what the 
that, that's what that's what the normal HQ model does. Is it, it acts like a hand grenade and, and does lots of damage in an area effect. I think it's got a demolish weapon too, but generally it's, it, that's what it does. And the overseer buffs plasma weapons near it and gives them really good buffs. And um, it's uh, it also has an anti-air ability at close range, which is also very good. So they do very different things. So if you want something tactically different for another game, you can just swap out the bits through magnetization. So if you're clever and do that, show us an example. That'd be really good. I'm sure there are examples out there already. I'm sure people much cleverer than I have worked this out already. So on to the battle cruiser. Now I haven't got one of these yet. I've got a battleship. I've got I've got Corvettes, which are really good for PHR. Apparently, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're good, but people tell me they're good. And say this is how little I know about the game so far. There we are. Whoa. It's just something I like. It's, it's not having to fight my way into the blister packs. <laughs> Rather get X-wing, for example, fight your way into the blister packs with with knives and guns and, and and Bangalore blades and stuff like that. You have to get in there. So there's the um, that's, those are the transfers you put on on the base. Here we are. Oh, that's the. Those are the magic bases. Uh, people, people very, some some people love these. Some people absolutely hate them. I don't. I've not tried to use them personally. I think I'll be using counters to see what level my ships are at, etc. So there's the main body. Oh, I don't have to do much with the main body. That's that's a plus. A little bit. This now this definitely feels like a new model. That that's. I would describe that as plasticky. That's what I described that as. Right, I'm just going to get something. I'll be right back. So here, I've, I've got a model I've not painted yet, which is a Scourge. I think this is called a Reaver, a Reaper, is it? I've not used a lot of Scourge yet. Um, it's a gunship, but uh, it's got it's got a rounded piece on it there. It's made of kind of the, the Hawk resin. And Hawk resin is really good. It's really good. You can just paint straight onto it, which is, which is great. Um, so that's an example of the resin. It's quite bendy. It looks quite bendy. Boing boing. There you go. Straight into place. Not an issue. It's just bendy. It's really good because you can you can you can, you can throw it about. Oh, look at that! I've thrown it about. Oh, I get down on the floor. No, no, no. But that model is still there. It's not going to. It's, it's not going to break and stuff like that, like so many of my models do when I when I drop them. So uh, very very good. And um, that's 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 that model ready to paint. So that's old school. That's old school. That's old hawk. I'm gonna stay on there. Yeah, there we go. Here we've got new TT. As this does feel different, as I say. But I've got to say, it's not scientific test because I've not held another version of this. The um, battleship I got was a very heavy, thick resin, and this is a lot lighter. Feels almost like plastic. It's not plastic though, and I think also, if I run my fingernail. I don't even know if you can hear that, but I can sense with my fingernail very small ridges, um, which I'm guessing is probably where the original, yeah, probably where the original was 3D printed. It's not very noticeable though, and to be honest, the small ridges is gonna are gonna help you. And it's not a criticism. I think the small ridges actually help with the painting. It'll take paint really well, especially dry brushing and matte colours and stuff like that, which I like to use for spaceships. Um, so yeah, this is the PHR Battle Cruiser. It gives you the option of both of the battle cruisers that you can choose in your um, your army. I believe. I believe. Um, so there we go. Um, and uh, so there, we, there we see the the gun decks. There we are. Parts for wings. Um, oh, someone's at the door. Oh, so there I am doing, do, you know, happily, happily doing my video when there's a knock at the door, and um, it's um, it's Star Cops. They've 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 delivered. Um, they've delivered um, uh, a, an order that I, that I made. Um, um, kindly and I wow I think I think there's extra stuff here there is there is there is oh I'm very excited I will I'll do that so that's very kind Pesipu has popped around and um he's he's given me boxes full of terrain for drop zone commander I am so pleased oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> not not that I'm excited for my oh, hang on there's two look at that two of them 
Oh, exciting is palpable, Commanders. Palpable. So, good. I will um, close together a bit. I'll get on with this for the moment. So, yes, there we go. A taste of things to come. So, on with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, PHR um, Battle Cruiser. So, mid, mid range, lots of, lots, lots of guns, not so many hit points, bit of speed, really good. Perfect for PHR, to be honest. So, there's the gun batteries there. Um, there's like fighter bays, I think, and uh, auxiliary guns there as well. Or maybe they're the main guns. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're the auxiliary guns. I think there's two different calibers you can have on the gunship version. Or you can have a carrier version. I do like carriers. I do. Big Battlestar Galactica fan. Then we've got the uh, the veins there. Take the flashing off. There we go. Um, it's actually when you look at the when when you look at the. Um, Rule book. All these, all these veins actually do things. So you get these little nobbles on there. If you can see them, and if you can see the, the little nobbles there, Let's see if I can be a little bit better focused. Um, they they do things. So some of these are like drone um, dispensers for point defense, or or or, or they might be uh, they might be com relays or um, something for navigation etc so in the in the book you know, i really love the way the book's written it really goes into the background of what everything does so yeah i really really love the game um there we go i think anti chambers had something to do uh of, of, old, of old games workshop fame has something to do with the with the development of the game as well and i've heard mixed i've heard mixed um reviews of the game but that doesn't matter i'm going to um I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to have fun with it no matter what because I love spaceships and I love fighters and carriers and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a themed navy is what I'm going to have. So that's the uh, that's the the battle cruiser. And then finally we've got the Shackleton drop pods. There we are. Oh, that's a big chunky piece of. Well, that wasn't actually that expensive. They were a bit expensive. They weren't that expensive. Look at that. Chunky drop pods of doom, those are. Look at that. They don't look too hard to put together either. And you've got those, and you've got these four wings here. Um, that looks like thrusters or something, retros. But probably the wings would go on that side. Like so. Oh, that's going to be great, isn't it? Super. So there we go. So I've got two of those. So great. I'll I'll do. I'll probably do a video on on it on each of them to see how we put them together. So there we go. That's my uh, that's my my unboxing of my new Drop Zone Commander post relaunch. Uh, um, goody goody box. So I'll put those together. And while I'm doing that, you guys out there get playing. <laughs> 